Okay friends, we got the uh, floats installed and all you want to do is make sure you got the uh, two screws in here tightened down and you can see them right here, right there and right there, okay? Make sure that your float does not bind and we've, and we've got the one uh, installed on the uh, rear bolt also. So here we go. Now it's time to go ahead and install the needle and see. And what I have here is just some simple baby oil, okay? Because there's an O-ring on here. We don't want to tear it up as we uh, install it. So put a little bit of baby oil on the uh, needle and seat set up here. And uh, around here on this side, go ahead and start screwing it in. And it should screw in real nicely for you. Now, at this point, get your new gasket out of your kit. You got two of these gaskets right here that will go right on top of the... Uh, needle and seat there. Then you can take your nut and you can uh, see how the nut is actually made um, offset there where it's got a flat side on each side. Well that fits onto the uh, um, needle and seat and makes it where you can turn it. Now adjustment purposes, okay? Here we go. I'm going to show you no need measuring with the little measuring gauge and all that stuff. See we're raising it up and you see this distance between the float and the top of the bolt. I want to raise this up to where I can barely see the bottoms of those screw heads down in there where I installed it, okay? And if you can hold it up right and you can just barely see the bottom of them, that float level right there is probably about uh, 5 sixteenths, 3 eighths of an inch there. And that's about where I'm going to set it at, okay? Actually, this is my front bowl. I'm actually going to go a little deeper, okay? I'm going to make sure I can see that whole head. And reason being, because we drag race this car sometimes, and I don't want fuel spilling out of my vent pipe. So I'm going to keep my fuel level a little bit low in this bowl. So I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. And because uh, we have a good fuel pump on this thing, and we have a, uh, a um, pressure uh, regulator on it also, so we don't get too much... Uh, pressure in our bowls to override the needle and seat. So we've got the adjustment where we want it. Now let's take our lock nut, our lock bolt here, and there's uh, gaskets in the kit for that. Go ahead and install the new gasket and start the screw. Tighten that down and we have our 5 8 wrench here and we'll hold our adjustment there where we set it and we'll snug our lock, our, our lock bolt, okay? So that's all there is to uh, installing your needle and seat and adjusting your float level on your Holley carburetor. Now remember, you can break this loose at any time you want to and adjust it at the racetrack if you need be. But typically once you do that, you're set to go. Now there's a sight glass here on the side. We'll go ahead and uh, install the plug and put our new gasket to come in the kit. And we'll go ahead, go ahead and uh, start that and tighten that down. Okay, got my screwdriver. We'll go ahead and just tighten that down too while we're at it. Okay, friends, that fuel bowl right there is ready to uh, be installed, okay? Now, let me do one more thing I'm going to show you right now. We'll go ahead and grab four of our bolts. Here's our bolts after we've cleaned them and blown them off. Now we've got these nylon washers here. Go ahead and put a nylon washer on each one of these bolts. And you can go ahead and just stick them in the bowl if you want to. That's fine. Put them in place. And we'll go ahead and install all these. And have this bowl ready to go on when we get ready for that procedure. Okay, now we do have one more thing that we need to do to the bowl. We need to go ahead and install our um, accelerator pump. 